Hey, I'm Jules, welcome to my channel. Okay, should you apply for the Rhodes Scholarship? Short answer is yes, here's why. Okay, so my Rhodes journey was in 2018. I had actually only heard about the scholarship a few months before I decided to apply. I know a lot of people have heard of it throughout their whole lives growing up, but I just didn't hear about it before. Um, so when I first saw the scholarship, I thought, yeah, right, like I can never get something like this. And I put it out of my mind. But also in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, that would be such a cool thing to apply for. Maybe one day I'll go for it. Uh, then I looked at the requirements and again, I thought, mm, hell no, my GPA is probably not good enough. Uh, I don't think I have all the stuff that you need to have. Um, and I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And then I decided, you know what, even if my GPA isn't good enough and even if I don't have everything I need, I'll just try. Because maybe everyone who applies doesn't have what they need. I don't know. Like, it's just, you never know. So I applied anyway. Um, the application process was long. I'll make a separate video about that, how to apply, how to write your personal statement. Um, it did take a long time. I think I started in April and I finally submitted it in July because you need to get in New Zealand at least six references so people writing two pages about how amazing you are um, you need all this stuff anyway long story short I didn't get it but I got through two rounds so it was a win and a lose but basically I would say you should definitely apply for it no matter what because it only did good for my life. So before I applied, I never ever thought that someone like me, I'm not from a very wealthy background, um, I just never thought I'd be able to go to an Ivy League school, ever, ever, ever. It was just something that rich people did. Um, after applying for the roads though, and getting kind of, not super close, but kind of close, I've just had my mind go boom. And that's partly because I did have to brainwash myself to apply because it felt so, like, I felt so not worthy to apply. So I brainwashed myself quite a lot thinking I could do anything. I would go to the gym and put on my favorite uh, motivational videos on YouTube and just say you can do anything you could try for, you can do anything you put your mind to. Um, I brainwashed myself to think bigger than I had ever thought before. So I... Yeah, so I applied for the roads. With like, who thought I would apply for that? Me, I never thought I'd do that. Um, so that's why I say apply for the roads, even if you don't get it. Which, let's face it, hardly anyone gets it. So, I mean, who knows? But I think for me, it was just, it was actually life changing to apply for it because it just pushed my boundaries and pushed my brain out into what I thought was possible. Um, so now I definitely think I will go to an Ivy League school, which is so exciting to say because, I mean, I know it's not like a 10 times better quality of education. Um, it's probably not even two times better than other universities because there is only so much information you can put in your brain at once, right? Um, but I just think it would be cool, the connections, the people you'd meet. Um, and I'm just so stoked that someone from my kind of background could even think about doing something like that and it is still my dream to go to Oxford one day to do my Masters of Law. Uh, yeah but honestly I never would have said that before I applied for the Rhodes. Um, another thing is applying for the Rhodes for me was what Denzel Washington calls failing forward. Uh, so when I applied for it I had to ask my colleagues and my previous supervisors to write all this amazing stuff about me and I told them so much about my past and my dreams and my hopes and my ideas and I think people very um, near and dear to me professionally became kind of near and dear to me in a personal way as well uh, so I became very close to the dean of the law school um, at my school who was just amazing and a huge support throughout the Rhodes process um, I became very close to my old supervisor even more close than we were before and actually through the Rhodes process of telling people my dreams and all the stuff, um, I actually became, I think that was sort of when I got offered a lecturing position at my uni. I think people could just see what, who I was, what I was going for and what 
and I think I just had this kind of luck event where my supervisor recommended me for a role. So I can really say applying for it, even though I didn't get it, it pushed me forward so much in my life. It pushed me forward in my career, in my mind, and how big I could think. Um, honestly, I just, it was probably one of the most life-changing things I've ever done, not getting it. But even getting through two stages to me was amazing. And so many people told me that I couldn't be a Rhodes Scholar and that I would never get it. And I mean, I'm not, but I could tell them, hey, I got shortlisted. Uh, and that was a pretty cool thing to do. And I think it challenged people's minds about what I'm capable of and what just what they're capable of, too. You never know what you're capable of. Um, so I think it was a really good experience overall. So moral of the story, apply no matter what. Even if your GPA is not good enough, even if you don't think you have enough extracurricular activities, I would say apply. You deserve to apply because everyone deserves to apply. And the worst that will happen is them turning you down and you spending time asking people for things, which is not necessarily a waste of time. Definitely go for it. You should do it. It was the best thing. And don't worry if you don't get it because you might just fail forward like me. All right, good luck with your application and I'll have more videos about the roads coming up. So stay tuned. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more about scholarships and the road scholarship in particular. All right, bye.